Things that are innovative and different. On score sheets, it depends on the location of the competition that you're going to and the rubric, because every scoring rubric is different. And so if you're a good coach, you know the different kinds of rubric and what's going to score the highest and how to manipulate and change your routine so that you're in the highest range when you go to different places. Um, and so in, in one of the most prestigious competitions, like I talked about in Dallas, um, doing a full twist and landing at the top of a stunt is something you have to do. And so you end up seeing a whole bunch of teams, and it gets really redundant to do the same thing over and over and over again. So we try to change it up, and this gym is known for doing some of the most creative and innovative stunts. We get together every Memorial Day with any kid that's in town and basically just get in groups and just make up the most amount of things that we can, and it becomes a competition between the coaches to see whose is the, the most memorable and creative. Personality-wise, it depends, because we've got some amazing – there's – you know, when you're flying and you're in the air, personality plays a huge part because a lot of the score comes from showmanship and how, you know, at that point where there's five people or four people underneath you and you're the only one portraying for 10 to 30 seconds, that's a big part of the score. And so if you're not able to show excitement on your face, then that, then that becomes a problem. As a base, it's not as important because, you know, half the routine you're stuck looking up at your flyer's foot. So it gets, it gets pretty interesting, but, you know, personality to the coach-wise, just the ability to try and be challenged and never say no to any, you know, type of thing and trust us in our decisions when we think you're ready to try a new skill that you actually take the initiative and try.